Hello. Today we're in the literature text packet looking at a close read um, of a short story called Heartbeat. This is an independent practice that you're going to be graded on not just for completeness but also for your ability to make it correct. This will be worth 10 total points and you'll be receiving a score of either 7, you're just learning how to do this, um, 8, uh, you're developing some correct answers but inconsistently, 9, um, most of the time you're able to make correct answers, but occasionally you aren't understanding the question, or 10, every answer is correct and done at an advanced level. So as we do this activity, you're only given today for it, um, we're going to look at the following essential questions. Essential question number two, how do strategic readers create meaning from the text? Essential question number four, what is literary text really about? And also, Essential question number five, how does interaction with text provoke thinking and response? There are a lot of different learning targets that we're going to go over for this one. We're going to cite text evidence um, from the text to support our responses for some of the close reading questions. We're also going to be looking at learning target number two, making inferences throughout the piece. There are a few questions that tie into inferentially thinking about the text. I am also going to ask you to look at learning target three and four. As you read it, know that the last question that you get to, which is question number nine, is going to ask you to decide on a theme for the piece. So we are looking at determining a theme and how it develops over the course of the text. You will also be providing text evidence for that question. You will be looking at learning target number six as well how particular elements of the story interact with each other. You'll be looking at how the point of view inter interacts with the conflict. In fact, that's the first question that you're going to have to discuss within this piece. You'll be looking at learning target number seven to analyze how the author develops the point of view of, in this particular piece, the narrator. The narrator is a first person point of view perspective. So I want you to look at his perspective and think about how the author develops that. For some reason, this question is a challenging one for us to answer, so I want us to get some thoughtful practice with it today as we close read. You'll also be looking at learning target number 11. In one specific question, we'll be looking at the figurative language used in that section, and I want you to think about how the author uses it. For what reason, to what end, is he using that figurative language? And the final learning target we're going to be looking at is learning target number 14. You will have to, for probably three different questions, look at some unknown words and use context clues, as well as I want you to define them and figure out a replacement word that you can use using the context of the passage to decide what's a good synonym to incorporate and make sure for those questions that you are rewriting the sentence in your answer and providing the um, new word, that new synonym in the response. So those are the learning targets we are going to cover in today's close reading. You only have the first half of class because we do have things to do for the second half of class today with writing time. So make sure you're working diligently on this. Go ahead and get to work.